Hello, welcome to the Scratch Cooling class. So today's video is going to be very special because we have just reached 200 subscribers. So I want to thank everybody who has subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And if you haven't, then make sure to subscribe and let's get to 300 subscribers. So we didn't actually do anything for 100. So for 200, I'm basically going to show you a quick tour of how I make all my videos, how I record them, edit them, so on. And um, I started this YouTube channel in July 14th, 2020, and then 200 subscribers in less than two years is just amazing. I could not believe we've even reached this. So how I record my videos, start off with, I use OBS Studio, and I cannot record OBS Studio in OBS Studio because that just doesn't work out well, trust me. So basically, I can just control my microphone and my desktop audio on it. So... Um, if we're doing like a sounds video on Scratch, the sounds on Scratch are really loud, so I can basically just tone it down so it's actually comfortable to listen to. And um, how I make my videos, basically we have different sources in OBS and uh, we have window captures. And a window capture would be something that um, Scratch, for example, and what I'm using right now is actually PowerPoint, believe it or not. So we have um, got different window captures and I usually just type in subscribe usually at the very top of the videos using text and if we're doing a Lego Mindstorms video which I will demonstrate um, but I haven't been re really working with Lego Mindstorms because it is a lot of effort just to record one video so we use a video capture we use a webcam um, to record um, the Lego Mindstorms so yes it is quite a lot of work and now I'm going to show you how I edit my videos Okay, so I'm in my editing software and that is Video Pad um, Editor. So basically, I've got a bit of a Christmas video that was like basically ages ago. So I can actually um, play my videos here. So I'll just give you a quick example. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so first we need to get the sprites and the back. So um, that was just a quick example. I usually just drag clips here and it uh, makes a really good transition between them. You don't really notice anything. Next, if we want to add audio, then that's very simple. I have just a random track here from a previous video. So we can just drag it down, make another track for um, the separate audio. And you notice um, that stir, we can cut some of this off like so. And now when I um, play, there is a bit of audio now. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So um, that is actually a bit too loud. So what I do is I usually just um, put the volume down very low round about maybe three sometimes it varies depending on the song so let's see if i try this now and let's get started okay so first we need to get so imagine um just um here there it's a bit quieter which is very handy because you can hear what i'm saying but you can also listen to some nice music and that music is just basically i usually just get classical music because it's just um, easy to focus and it's just relaxing but I might um, do the occasional uh, modern song or something like that and I can just export to my um, documents when I've finished. Okay so this is my uh, desktop and this is where I keep all my YouTube channel stuff. So here I basically have um, my thanks for watching, I have my subscribe image that I can just drag into um, the editor and then I also have the banner which is edited using Photoshop and I can still go back and edit it if I need to and I just also have this this maze for some reason that's maybe when I put it on Scratch online and then I have this robot build video which took a lot of work when I record my Lego Minecraft EV3 I put it on uh, a stand with a light on it and I actually put it on my table instead of the floor and I just um, use a webcam to record the robot and then um, the building of it took really long so basically had to shorten it down using um, my editor, I had to um, speed forward everything and uploading from my phone to this desktop is just an absolute pain because it takes so long so I do have to compress the file on my phone as well um, and then here we have my thumbnails and I'll just click on that and here is all of my thumbnails I can see so basically I can just go back and edit these if I need to I probably will redesign a lot of these thumbnails um, at the very start of the channel we did those Lego Minecraft EP3 Scratch tutorials and I basically just redesigned them here so they look way better and I also have the 6 minutes and the 7 minute series and there's just a bunch of other stuff like my logo. I can edit my logo if I need to, but I'm probably not going to. And then I've got um, the beginner's guide to scratch um, PowerPoints. Um, but the beginner's guide to scratch, I haven't been working on it that much because um, as I said, I have 
um, done the six minute series so basically explained basically all the blocks anyway so that is basically everything really on my um, desktop there isn't really too much more so i'm going to show you how i upload the youtube now okay so i want to show you a quick example of how i make all my videos so we have the six minutes and all the blocks it's been six minutes video just as an example i can adjust the title and reuse details from previous videos if i want to then we have got the description and i can upload my own thumbnail or select one of three thumbnails and then we've got playlists and i can actually add it to multiple playlists if i want to so let's just do six and seven minutes i didn't see there to play this and then we've got an um, audience it has to be for kids and then we've got um, new automatic captures and then we have tags and tags are really useful if um, viewers misspell your videos because then that means they can still find it like scratch coding class um, scratch blocks in six minutes program tutorial so and I put that on the tags and then we go down here we have a category I can select I usually just put it in education but I might put it in science and technology sometimes. And then that is really everything here. I do use vidIQ so I can actually see um, have I used enough tags and so on. So we've got video elements and there's nothing there. And then we've got checks and then we've got visibility. And visibility, basically I can select private or I can select unlisted or public. Um, sometimes I might just upload it public immediately, um, but I would schedule it sometimes. So um, I would pre-record videos in advance and then I just schedule them whenever I feel like it. And that is basically everything um, I wanted to show you when I'm making a video. I can actually edit my videos on YouTube Studio. So um, as you can see down there at the very back, I can't really close this down because the video hasn't processed yet. But that's basically how I make all my videos using um, YouTube Studio. And I also have TubeBuddy here as well. And but you don't have to worry too much about that. And if that is basically everything I want to cover. So thank you so much again for 200 subscribers. Um, and mm -hmm. I'll see you in the next video. Um, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. So bye for now.